1043. Anyway, I wonder how many people realize I'm uploading the, recording these the day before I upload them. So it's Friday, not Saturday. Vote. Um. Anyway, um, First Kings. Now, we're going to go over some parts of David's life that were not mentioned in First or Second Samuel. And also, Kings was once one scroll, but split into two for length. Purposes for pie. Also, Second Samuel was 24 first. Oh, I already said 24 how long it was. The 24 chapters, but in case <clears throat> you forgot, I don't know. Anyway, let's get started with Adjaniah A D O N I J A H. Uh-huh. Sets himself up as king. When David was very old, <coughs> he could not keep warm even when they put covers over him. Yeah, that's something old people get chills. And also, yes, it's possible to live beyond the age of 30 during this time. The life expectancy was low because a lot of infants died and people younger died was more of an average. It still is. Like, it's not a miracle of modern medicine. People can live to a hundred. Anyway. Ah, so you're in the desert, dude. It's not that cold. I don't think Israel gets that cold. What's the lowest temperature I've ever recorded in Israel? Well, I guess it has mountains, so it could get pretty cold. Okay, what about just Jerusalem? Or, eh, either one would do. Yes, or both. Anyway, so his attendant said to him, Let us look for a young virgin to serve the king and take care of him. She can lay beside him so that our Lord the King may keep warm. <coughs> Body heat. <coughs> Snuggles. Yes. Snuggle together to keep warm. It is a strategy. Then they search throughout Israel for a beautiful young woman and found Ab. Beshig. That's her name. A B I S H A G. A Shumerite. S H U N A M M. The knight. And brought her to the king. The woman was very beautiful. She took care of the king and waited on him. But the king had no sexual relations with her. So this is very much just a nurse or, oh, whatever you want to call it, taking care of an old guy. Um, and, yeah, so. That's it. David's this old. They got someone to help him. <laughs> Meh. Now, Abijah, the guy from the title, whose mother was Hagithith, 
H-A-G-G-I-T-H, put himself forward and said, I will be king. Well, are you the oldest? Eh. So he got chariots and horses. Or charioteers. Ready. With 50 men to run ahead of him. His father had never rebuked him by anything. By asking him, why do you behave as you do? <laughs> why do you behave as you do? Then why do you do what you do? Or and it, there's something. <laughs> if someone's acting strange, just ask them why do you behave as you do? <laughs> I don't know. I just find that funny. Yeah, I can imagine that just uh, someone's disappointed face and like, why do you behave as you do? As he was very handsome and was born next after Absalom, Jedi confronted Job, J-O-A-B, son of Zariah, <coughs> and with... Bethar, A B I A T H A R, the priest. And they gave him their support, but Zaduk, Z A D O K, the priest, and Benaniah, B A N A I A H, son of Jordiah, J E H O A a D A. No, I do not read the, out the words for um, them to be these videos to take longer. I take read them out for your spell them out for your benefit. Nathan the prophet. Shemai. S H I M E. I. And Rhea. R E I. And David's. Special guard did not join Adjajah. Uh, Adjajah <coughs> then scarfed. No. Adjajah then sacrificed sheep. Why is it so windy? Oh, low fire is coming through that, so I. <coughs> Cattle and fattened calves. At the stone of Zorahilis, Z O H E L E T H, near N E N, Ruggel, R R O G E L. <laughs> he invited all his brothers, the king's sons, and all the royal officials of Judah. Uh, it's a trap. Okay, I don't really have much proof, but... Like, yeah, bros, I'll come to me. Yeah, one place. <laughs> I'm totally not going to kill you all so I can be the only king. <laughs> the only son of David left. The only male heir. <laughs> but he did not invite Nathan the prophet or Benaniah or the special guard or his brother Solomon. Why not Solomon? You do realize if there's one boy, one son left, one other male, one other man, other than you, he has every right to the claim of the throne that you do if you so happen to um meet an unfortunate accident, or if they or people support him more than you. Stupid. Then, then Nathan asked Bathsheba, Solomon's mother, <coughs> Have you not heard that Ejidiah, the son of Hethegith, has become king, and our Lord David knows nothing about it? <coughs> then I don't think that means he's king of the current king. He's still, well, first king, and... 
That's no idea. That sounds more like a coup to me. But then, no, now then, let us, no, now, now then, let me advise you how you can save your own life and the life of your son Solomon. Go to King, no, go into King David. Get your mind out of the gutter and say to him, My lord, the king, do you not swear to me, your servant, surely Solomon, your son, will be king after me? Ooh. <laughs> yes, this is a great strategy. Why? Well, even if he does kill all the other sons of David, David's own word that Solomon will be king kind of trumps that. You know, it's kind of the logic William the Conqueror used to conquer England, Glenn. And he did. So it's a, it, it has precedent, even though that event will happen after this one, but it has, it's going to work. It has worked. It will work. And he will sit on my throne. Actually, I think there's probably other examples. Where it's like, yep, the king's appointed heir is... The king's appointed heir, and it doesn't matter after that. Um, why then has Ajajiah become king? While you are still talking to the king, I will come in and add my word to what you have said. So Bathsheba went to see the aged king in his room, where Agaisa, the Shumanite, was attending him. <coughs> Bathsheba bowed down, prostrating herself before the king. What is it you want? She said to him, My lord, you yourself swore to me, your servant by the lord your god, Solomon your son, will be king after me. And he will sit on my throne. But now Ajaziah has become king, and you, my lord, the king, do not know about it. He has sacrificed a uh, sacrificed great number of cattle, fatted calves, and sheep, and has invited all the king's sons, Abinathar, the priest, and Job, the commander of the army. But mm, has not invited Solomon, your servant. If you're a royal and your brother invites you and all your other brothers to something, yeah, you would be an idiot to go through that thing because that's clearly just there to kill you off. <laughs> no, run. It's a trap. I say this to, like, the very few monarchies that are left and none of them would do this. Actually, that could be a book idea. Yeah, like a prince kills all his brothers, or at least thinks he did, while another brother goes run off. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, my lord, the king, the eyes of all Israel are on you to lean from you no to learn from you who will sit on the throne of my lord the king after him otherwise as soon as my lord the king is laid to rest with his ancestors I and my son Solomon will be tried as criminals do I ask for what? well this guy is would be king because all his other sons would be dead and he can as the support of the army so um he could make up or at least the commander of the army he could make up any charge he wants and just kill them why didn't you fight Solomon? I don't know he maybe it's not thinking entirely through but there's numerous of way while she was still speaking with the king Nathan the prophet arrived, and the king was told, 
Nathan the prophet is here. So he went before the king and bowed down, no, and bowed with his face to the ground. Nathan said, Have you, my lord the king, decided, no, have you, my lord the king, declared Abijah, uh, no, that Abijah shall be king after you, <coughs> and that he will sit on your throne? Today he has gone down and sacrificed great number of cattle, fattened calves, and sheep. He has invited all the king's sons, the commanders of the army, and Abedir the priest. Right now they are eating and drinking with him and saying, Long live King Abdanajiah, but your servant and Zaduk the priests, and Benaniah, son of Jedediah, and your servant Solomon, he did not invite. But again, why not Solomon? Weird move. Weird move. Is this something my lord the king has done without letting his servants no, who should sit on the throne uh, of my lord, the king, after him? And that is it. It's 1050.